Four. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic item on Wigfred. Uh, hitting that 85 damage. Mm. It's good. Uh, we're going to take that down to the ruins so we can get a Star Caller Staff. We have to have a Star Caller Staff to get the Moon Caller Staff. Because we have to have the Moon Caller Staff to get the boss. But you know who we're picking? It's Wigfred time. Let's go. What skins, though? Oh, easy choice. We're, uh, I don't know. This. School teacher Wigfred? You're on, fall, on your phone now, might as well. The hardest thing for me is going to be not picking up seeds, because we don't need them. Unless I want to grow a tomato. Ooh, we got a plugged sinkhole already. Interesting. All right, let's pop down. We got to grab the flint. This will give back the flint. Oh, we can actually look at the map while moving. Yes. Ooh, gears? I don't need gears. I'm going to the ruins. If only I were WX. Oh, we can go ahead and pop that on. Da, da, da. I mean, I am also kind of looking forward to sailing. Like, the fishing was fun. Fishing was interesting. And then we drop down and we see Ancient Guardian. This suddenly becomes an Ancient Guardian speedrun impromptu. <laughs> Isn't that how it's always do? Like, whenever you're not looking for a world like that, you end up finding it. Oh, we got a nice bridge there. That is a good direction to go. Um, am I going to stay down here? I didn't even get our magic yet, though. No, we don't have the light to go forward. Poke our nose over here, see if we see anything. Okay, that's going towards basic stuff again, although there's more more road. Oh, bunch of grass, let's go grab that. Ruins entrance right in your face. Well, not this time, sadly. Ooh, lots of grass down here. I guess we'll just grab them all. A couple of twigs, too. Not bad. We're going to need those. Does Wigfred use that much grass? I guess if I make drying racks. But we're not making, like, you know, football helmets or anything like that. And Sky Pier, how you doing? How's life treating you? We're going for the Enlightened Crown. The Enlightened Crown. I actually don't, like, I know some people like it, but I'm not really a fan of, uh, Dualicite Crowns with Wigfred. It seems like her helmet is good enough nine times out of ten. Like, she already gets damage resistance anyways. I'd rather take more to the, you know, more to Wigfred herself and just be able to heal it off. Controversial opinion. I would love to get that. I don't think I- for bundling wraps I need it? Yeah, that's true. We are gonna have to do pick, uh, Bee Queen at some point. Whether we like it or not, uh, we're gonna have to do Bee Queen for the, um, uh, what is it, the charged, charged moon rock, something like that? We got enough supplies, let's go, let's push on a little bit deeper. That is not where my torch is. What's your take on Nightmare Armor? Um... I think Nightmare Armor is pretty underutilized, despite being a really good item, but honestly, you don't need amazing armor since healing is so good. Pretty much any armor that has a somewhat competent block value is good enough. You don't need to have the best armor, uh, which means that people not using Night Armor aren't missing out. It's, it's fine, but it's not the end of the world if you don't use it. I think it's fantastic. I also think it's really good against the boss we're going up again. We're definitely going to be doing that. Uh, you should pin goats and make a pig farm with meat and logs. I'm definitely considering a pig farm. Definitely going to consider that. Uh, I think this is going to bring us to the center biome. Are we, are we just doing this like no science style? Because that was not really the plan here. I legitimately just wanted to poke our nose in here for some info, but... Now I'm just kind of curious and just want to keep moving. Plus, when we go upstairs, we're going to fight stuff and get our sanity back. Ow. You monster. 
Oh, was that mud? I think I saw mud. Yeah, we're out. Audi 5000. Nightmare Armor works the best on Wigford though, right? Um. Oh, I'd like to have you. How do I fight you? Come over to the light. No, you're not going to come to the light, you scum. Hey, look, I got meat. Come fight me. Look, I'm a murderer. Hey, look, 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 I murdered people. Come here. Come here, follow me. What you definitely want to do when you see a murderer is chase them. Okay, I'm going to tank that hit because I didn't want it to run away. But it just dropped a bit of uh, carrot. I was about to call it a banana. Because I forgot they got nerfed. Wow, that was absolutely not worth my time. Whew! Oh, what a waste. I don't have my bunny! No! Oh, we gotta go get a bunny. We gotta go get our rabbit, guys. We gotta go get Barry. Can't do this without Barry. What am I even doing down here? There's gold, finally. I think it's gotta be the full-sized lagmites. Do I need pig skins? Pig houses, I guess. Uh, we could go ahead and make a hammer. Yeah, we got the twigs. Ah, didn't need it. Okay. And twigs. Twigs are good. That's right. Yeah. Trick, don't pin all the goats. Use four gates to build one pin. Basically, uh, locking the herd location. Ah. Yeah, we could set up a, a goat farm. I almost never do, because I don't tend to live in the antlion desert. Or, actually, I guess I do all the time. Why am I lying to myself? I don't want to have to live in the... The antlion desert again. That's why we turn off wildfires, so I have a chance to live somewhere else and not feel bad about it. Like, oh, I gotta abandon base for half the year. Alright, would love to find the blue mushroom biome. Not for the healing, but we need to get the living logs from there. So that's what we want to be looking for now. Nope, that is dead end. Alright. Fair enough. More mud over here. Let's go ahead and make another torch. Uh, for Wigfrid, the spear that you start with is actually enough damage to kill Ancient Guardian. Wigfrid is very good for an Ancient Guardian speedrun, actually. Basically perfect. She has the helmet so she doesn't accidentally die in, like, one hit. And then she's got enough weapon when she spawns into the game. So, the dream seed, if you were trying to do a seeded Ancient Guardian speedrun, would be to basically spawn into a world where you hop into a wormhole or just straight into a, um... A cave entrance, and then that cave entrance brings you directly down to Ancient Guardian. Would love to get some of this gold down here. Oh, we already found the ruins. All right, and Wigglies. Whoo! What a Wiggly! Two Wigglies. That's not what we're looking for. All right, screw it. You know what? We're actually here. Let's just go. It's day two. It's an absolute waste of our time if we don't walk out of here with a Magi or something. Because I don't even have a backpack. I got nothing. But screw it, we're here. Very rarely do you find the ruins this fast and you have enough torches. So let's do it. Ah, but I've lived in the Oasis so many times is my problem. Use the slurper for light. I don't have enough food. I got four meat. I got I got about a day and a half of food in me between my tummy and the meat in my inventory. That said, we could kill the Wigglies for monster meat. Alright, buddy. You want to go? You want to tussle with the muscles? No, not you too. God, that is a lot of friends. Uh, I don't need this many friends. That's not what I'm looking for in my life. Whew! This is where we just beef it and die. Is that a wiggly? That is not a wiggly. Ow! You monster! 
Oh, I canceled the attack. Hey, there we go. We got rid of the scary one. Oh, thank you, Sam boy. I I don't really consider that to be true, but I do my best. I've played this game a lot. But how you doing today? How's life treating you? Oh, let's. God, I can't take any of these. I guess I don't need these. They're just not gonna do anything. Oh, that does not pause. I gotta remember we don't have pause mod on today. I've been really. Oh, I didn't turn on the overlay for chat. I keep having to look over. Uh oh. All right, we're gonna have to exit the pause pretty soon so I can turn on my overlay. Long-term worlds are locked to having base and oasis. Oh, hey, what up? What up, nerd? Pardon me, pardon me. Squeeze me coming through. That's why you have a backup torch. You can turn off, um... What's it called? Wildfires. Oh god, we're just making stuff worse! Oh, we're just making- oh no, don't you hate it when you just start making stuff worse? Oh, I do. 4%, not doing great on this torch. Oh, you spawned right on top of me. We got nightmare fuel, though. Alright, let's get another backup torch. Uh, we're getting low on these. We actually don't have a lot of resources left. Let's go ahead and have this. Should have eaten this before fighting all those enemies. Oh, this is what I hate about doing these kind of rushes. You either have enough twigs to get in and get what you want, or you get, or you just get wrecked. This is why I don't do scienceless rushes, but the world kind of presented me with a chance, and I'm going to take it. Um, worst case, we don't get the Magi before we die, and that's the end of it. But if we do get the Magi, hey! It's worth it, probably, maybe. Lunch break was pretty good. I had some rice with some uh, corned beef hash on it. That is not my weapon. Where's my weapon? Why is that not on one? Alright, that light's about to go out. Alright, they're gonna change soon. I guess we just wait it out. There's like three or four on me. I don't know how many. Now we're waking up slurpers. Alright, let's just run. The cycle's gonna end. We gotta go. Oh, just keep moving. It's gonna end in like 10 seconds, 15 seconds. No need to panic. Here's the ruins, though. That's an orange or a yellow gem, too. Got him! Ooh! Ooh! Feels good! There's our food delivery, too. Wonderful. I think that's an orange gem, though. Oh, come on. God, it is, but that's too Thulacite. We don't need the orange right now. Um, are you yellow? Are you yellow? No, you're fragments. Alright, well, we're here. Let's do it. Oh, I thought you wore an offline world, world for maximum efficiency. Wait, what do you mean? This is going to be our... What? What's the name of that? Military biome. Hey, buddy, what up? This is an offline world, um, but we don't have the pause mod on today because I wanted to play mostly vanilla except for wildfires. See, today is a day of decisive action. I need to not be hesitating on which way to go. Let's just go this way. I need to make another torch before it's too late. Yeah, let's eat that.
Oh, those are actually my nightmares. I'm insane. Wow. It turns out eating raw meat is uh, pretty bad for your sanity. Who to thunk it? Can you give me a yellow gem out of this? No. Today is the day of decisive action. Isn't that every day? Nah, some days I just kind of hang around doing nothing. That's pretty common here. I did not pick up a light source to mine these statues. Uh-oh. I just realized we, we don't even have a light bulb to throw on the ground to mine stuff. That is another orange gem. I don't need orange gems. We're gonna die. Ugh. Why do science list? The opportunity presented itself, so I wanted to try. Very Like, we were down here. It's like, oh, day two? We're right here? Like I said, these are very inconsistent. You just gotta get lucky enough that things kind of work out. That is yellow, but I have no way I can make a campfire. I can make a campfire. We can kill these enemies. Good thing we picked up that boon that had wood. Wow. I can't believe I forgot to pick up a single um thing. A single uh light bulb. Because that's all you need is drop down one light bulb or one glowberry. I did have glowberries. And leave it on the ground. We could have cooked our meat too and kept our sanity. So I got to get over there and make the magi. And then we are good to go. So let's drop this here. Make a backup campfire. Because we're going to need that. Make a backup light. And let's go. So our goal is to just walk in here, make the thing, and walk out, and we're done. We'll come back later. I'm gonna get shot. There we go, done. Worth it, easy. Didn't even need the second torch, but just to be safe. I'll grab this axe, let's bail. At this point, we actually could just go look for the labyrinth and try to finish this rush, because once you get the magi, this this gets a lot safer. Did the rook destroy the station? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we'll come back for you later. Uh, because I would need to get armor and stuff now too. We'd have to go to the center, get some gold and things. I don't think I have enough safety to make a crown. God, we almost could try. One, two, three, that'd be, yeah, that's minimum four. Jeez, let's just stick to it. Let's stick to it and not be scared. I could stick in here, make a crown as our, as our armor. We have enough nightmare fuel. We just start killing stuff too. Ah, but then the weapon's gonna run out if we don't find the labyrinth soon. All right, yeah, no, let's go to the center. We're gonna be out of armor. Hopped on the forum, saw another thread locked for the most common reason the thread is locked, shrugged and chuckled. Wait, what reason? How many twigs for a spear? Uh, two, but I also need two gold. I got nothing. Pretty cool to have the Magi though. I'm not, I am not sad about this actually. Day, three days to walk in, get a Magi, then we have 20% speed buff on the top. Character gender discussions are the most common way a thread gets locked. Oh God. Ugh. Were people arguing about WX again? Like why do people care? It's a robot. I mean, heck, it's even in the code. They literally define every character's gender in the code. What body wear is it? This is the Magi Luminescence. So it gives you a 20% speed buff and gives you a small light radius around you and it can be refilled with uh, Nightmare Fuel. Speaking of that, I'm going to take this because I need some food soon. Oh, hey, I did not want you here. Okay, you attack. Get this guy out of the way. Yeah, exactly. It's literally defined in the code. There there are tags on the characters. So like Wilson and Wormwood and all of them are in like boy. Then there's a girl category. Then there's a robot category. Like it's literally in the code. I don't know why people want to argue about this or care, but yeah, we don't care about those people. They must have nothing better to do in their life.
We even have a campfire to cook these if we need to. Hey, what up? I got meat. Fight me. Fight me. Oh, come on. I hate these guys now. What a waste of time. <gasps> Bonnie! Barry! 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 Barry, no! Barry, don't die! Don't die! I'm coming for you, Barry! I don't have twigs or grass. Never mind. I guess I'm not. Oh, I wanted Barry. Alright, let's go find some more gold and uh, rocks. So we want the full-sized ones, I think, guarantee a gold? Or give the best chance of a gold? There we go, got a backup. Yeah, they might be guaranteed. Might be guaranteed. We'll take the rocks too. Um, I'll come back for... We can get fossils in, in the red mushrooms easy. Alright, but... Before I forget, because I'm missing a lot of chat. I gotta disconnect so I can open up my chat overlay. I don't want to miss everything. This is what happens when we don't have pause. We just gotta exit when we want to pause. There we go. Alright, what did I miss? How dare you call a robot an it? I think WX would be more offended about being given some, like, robotically irrelevant gender. Like, how dare you assign some filthy organic pronoun to him. Ugh. Fossils are pretty rare from the um the stalagmites in the middle. They're extremely common from the uh spiders in the red mush tree forest though. Or just the spider biome. The ones that you might I think they're guaranteed from those even. How gar exactly, exactly. I think Ro I think he would be or it God Oh no Tarn you English I think it would be offended. More so. Alright. What did I miss? What happened in chat? And Grematorium, how you doing? How's life treating you? Alright, let's pop back in here. Honestly, not bad, but I'm, I am kind of don't want to leave now. Now that we started this already, I feel like I just want to push in there a little bit more. We already have the Magi. We now have a backup helmet. We can get a backup spear too if we get a little bit more gold. Then we could just push in there, find the find the labyrinth. That'll give us like a, a bat bat or something for healing. Man, am I pushing my luck? I feel like man, should we just leave? We we kind of won. Ugh, I don't know if I'm pushing my luck or not. Maybe I'm being overly safe. That tends to be more of the problem with me. Oh yeah, give me some gold, baby. Some cum. Oh no. Alright, so we got two extra helmets here. Uh, I, yeah, I gotta get twigs. Yeah, we're not ready for this rush. Hey, look at that. We got a red gem. Two gold out of that one. Nailed it. Um, let's go keep looking for the blue mushroom. Because I wanted to rush magic. I didn't want to rush the ruins. Get a safety net. Like four or six extra twigs and you're dandy. Alright, that's a good plan. Just bail. Our inventory is filled up with torches right now anyways that I don't necessarily need. I guess I should use those and save the magi, but then I'm losing my speed buff. Let's let these burn out. We can make new torches if we need them later. This will clear up the inventory and save us some stuff. Yeah, go for it. Uh, let's go that way, because that looks like more of the ruins. So our blue biome's got to be somewhere over here. Streaming can definitely be intimidating. You get a lot of people watching you. I think that's like the the most scary thing when you're streaming speed runs is what if everything goes bad and then I just look dumb. Oof. Yeah, but I get over it. The safety net of being on YouTube means you can only put up the good stuff and that's that is a huge safety net. Will there be a Jeff in this run? Actually there will. There will. I'm gonna be getting a Rider B flow. Ooh, free gold. Okay, you. Where'd you go? Come here. Now you're dead. What did you learn? Probably nothing, because you're dead. There will be a Jeff. I'm going to be going for a Rider Beefalo. Ooh, we got Hutch. That's fantastic. 
Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to mine here, too. Yeah, let's go for the mining. You know what Hutch also represents? I can put these inside of Hutch to get light. Boom. And that we can use to get everything done. Ooh, a log. I'll take it. Uh, if we get another log from these randomly, then we can actually make a um, a fire pit. I don't think Ryder Beefalo is the best Beefalo. I disagree. I think that's ornery. But as Wigfrid, I think a Ryder Beefalo could be fantastic. And welcome back, Sawchuck. How you doing? How's life treating you? Looking for these full-sized ones. Oh, there we go. Not taking fossils? Nah. I mean, we can get them from the red spiders later, and then I have to carry them now. It's like, nah. I don't, like, it's not obscenely rare to get them from these, but it's it's pretty rare. Relative to the, the guaranteed from the spiders. Alright, we gotta find one of these biomes so I can get twigs and stuff. Miso tells you exactly what he thinks about the Rider Beefalo. Nah, pretty much everyone who watches me knows I... No, my Rider Beefalo opinion has changed. I don't know if you've seen my updated opinion get nerfed on, but I think Rider and Ornery are tied for best. And then I think Default is actually the worst now. I think Default's the worst one. I, I feel like it compromises too much for a little bit of convenience, and the convenience isn't good enough. I think even a Pudgy Beefalo has a niche use that can't be substituted by any of the other Beefalo. But you're not really ever going to be in a situation where you want to be both riding and sometimes fighting, but not seriously fighting on your Beefalo. It's, it's a weird thing. Hutch could have held him. That's true. That's true. This is not the place I want to be. Let's leave. I don't think this is going anywhere. Why is Ornery best for me? Uh, because Ornery can do an absurd amount of damage and tanking for the player. And it makes you completely invulnerable to hounds no matter what character you are and no matter where you are in the world. You can also bring them to the caves and... Imagine taking a log and leaving behind two fossils. Ouch. I mean, the fossil, the log actually has a use. The fossils I don't need, that's not part of this run. I'm going to kill the ancient uh, or the celestial champion. And I can't kill Fuel Weaver until then. Like, that's our... Ooh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And COVID, welcome back. How you doing? How's life treating you? I used to put Ryder as the worst because you couldn't bring a beefalo to the cave, which meant that you were often parking your beefalo outside of a cave if you were going in and out a lot or using caves to, you know, wormhole your way through the world, or if you were just using wormholes because you couldn't bring your beefalo with you, which meant oftentimes a Ryder beefalo actually slowed you down. Now that we have the bell, that's no longer true. The Ryder can get you anywhere in the world. Uh, it can go with you through wormholes if you can save time that way. Uh, so Ryder Beeflo definitely popped up uh, several, you know, tiers, whatever you want to call it, several notches. Boom. You could always bring Beeflo with you through wormholes. You're talking about using the horn, though, but you got to carry a horn then, and then that only has 10 uses until it breaks, and after it breaks, you have to just kill more Beeflo to get it. Like, if we're talking about using this on a daily... Alright, I'm going to stop and cook this stuff. But yeah, the the bell letting it go with you every time easily. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and eat these so I can fight this guy over here. By May, you have to use deconstruction staves to get extra horns. I don't know if that was ever meta, but I would not use green gems on that. <laughs> this is actually the biome I was looking for way earlier. I mean, if people were doing that, you know, godspeed. But it wasn't for me. I mean, 20% speed boost is better than the damage, since Bone Armor and Hambat is good enough for most things. But the thing is, Bone Armor and Hambat is two items in your inventory. If you have an Ornery Beefalo, you carry the bell and nothing else. You don't need armor, you don't need weapons. So that's saving you... I can't pause to count all the stuff, but you're not carrying Living Logs, you're not carrying Nightmare Fuel, you're not carrying a Dark Sword, 
you're not carrying you know bundled materials for a ham bat or a ham bats um Since owner is 1.8 and rider is about two times. Wait, for what? Oh, are you trying to list the speed? A rider beefalo is eight speed and an ornery beefalo is seven. A character speed is six. So, uh, rider beefalo or ornery and rider beefalo are barely faster than a base player, and then you slap on a, um, a saddle to make them much faster. They get a multiplicative buff. But it's also easy for the player to outspeed a beefalo. Okay, I'm looking for some friends here. I still need twigs. Alright, yell at me if you hear a mush gnome. And Moranthus, welcome back. How you doing? And somebody said, uh, New World. We are indeed doing a new playthrough with Wigfred. It's been a while since I've gotten to play her. So we're just going to do this. And our goal, eventually, our slow goal is going to be getting to Celestial Champion. So Ornery is ridiculous damage with Windy. I'm not sure you are arguing against Ornery because of Windy. Talking about the Glossomer Saddle. A Glossomer Saddle, a, a Rider B Flow is like 12 speed, and a Ornery B Flow is like 11. You only get an extra 1.55 speed. Or 0.55 speed? 0.55 more speed. Man, I'm gonna waste all this trying to find the thing. Can I not have Living Logs? There we go. There you are. Let's make a backup helmet. Let's not be dumb. And it'll be the pretty one. I'll take it. Thank you. Guessing not really a rush. I don't want to call it a rush or a speed run. I don't want anyone to get their hopes up. Like, we're just going to do a normal playthrough as Wigfrid with no character changes, no mods. Kind of the way we do Westworlds, where our final goal is to get this champion. But we're just going to have fun along the way. We ended up doing a Scienceless Ruin Rush. I didn't plan for that. Like, I was planning on doing a Ruins Rush, but I also wanted to do a Tier 2 Magic Rush, which I think is better every single time. Uh, but the World Gen worked out where on Day 2 we had already found the Ruins, so we're like, yeah, let's go for it. I picked up enough grass and twigs, we'll try it. There's our archives. That's not really what I was going for. Although, no, we don't have twigs right now. Doesn't matter. Am I just missing every Mushno? Like, have you guys seen like 30 of them or something? Let's get this done. Wouldn't it be tragic to rush this and then have it break on like day three? Whew! Ooh, a nose! Delicious! Are you gonna finish that one for the sweet, sweet 5% on the Telepoof? Wait, what? Who? Seems like a YouTube channel is slowly turning into a choose-your-own-adventure channel. That's cool. As long as his fans are enjoying it. Unless you have an internal speed boost, you can't outspeed buff. Yeah, but I mean, every character that's like highly rated is a character that has an uh, internal speed buff. Like, Wormwood outspeeds uh, Rider Beeflow by a lot. Actually, I'm not even that sure if that's true. If you have Magiluminescence, Walking Cane, and you're on a road, you have a lot of multiplicative speed buffs. I'm pretty sure you're faster than a rider as Wilson. Can someone do the math on that? What is 6 times 1.3 times 1.25 times 1.2? Because that would be your speed as Wilson under those conditions. Dude, I think we only have that one mush gnome. Are you kidding me? They must have spawned and I just didn't see them as I was walking around, right? Yeah, there's one. Six times one point three times one point two five times one point two. There we go. Hey, I got a double. Just under twelve. Just under twelve. How much is a rider beef low? Is eight times one point five five. I don't know multipliers like that. I I know the actual hard numbers. It's easier to compare to the flat number. Four is technically good enough, but not really what I was looking for. Can we get a couple of more? Maybe these are not as good as I was thinking on the average world. There we go. Look at you. Look at this fine, fine specimen. Give me two. Let me get another Oh Baby a double. Oh, you monster. Uh, I'm going to eat before we fight because we're going to probably get health back from this fight. 
Ow, everything at once, really? We're not gonna get any HP back. Just over 12. Okay, so Wilson is just barely slower. Wow, three in a row doubles. Did they change this? Are they always two now? That would be a really nice change. Honestly, one was not good enough. Three every time was stupid, but... Yeah, but it's easier for me to think in raw numbers. So the Rider B flow is just barely faster than Wilson with all of the speed buffs, and that's with no character speed modifier. Oh, there's another one. Dude, let's just get three in a row double, four in a row doubles. Oh god, every single one. Was that? Oh no, only a single this time. I've been getting two each time. No, I guess it was just luck. Maybe they changed it where it's not a 50-50. Wilson is faster? No, Wilson is uh, slightly slower than a Rider B flow. With all the conditions in his favor. That said, I'm not saying a Rider B flow is bad. I'm saying the fact that a Rider B flow is fast doesn't make it strictly better than just being able to walk. Ah, that's the end of our weapon. I guess we're gonna have to axe it a question. But yeah, if you're Wormwood, you're gonna be much faster. If you're Wil uh, Wolfgang, you can be faster. If you're WX, you can be God Mode. Gotta have a friend, though. Wilson is a bit... Uh, no, Wilson is straight up default movement speed. Only three characters have speed thing in this game. Got him! Woo! Alright, we killed five and we got four doubles. They might have changed the ratio, but it also could just be confirmation bias. Literally, could just be that. Wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Um, nine living logs is plenty. We can get out of here and try to find um, some twigs. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh, Rider B-Flow, you have uh, to have all the speed while wearing a piggyback. That is true. That's actually what I want to do in this playthrough, is get a piggyback on a Rider B-Flow as, uh, as Wigfred. But that said, like the fact that having an ordinary beef flow saves you inventory. You don't have to carry any weapons. You don't have to carry any armor. Hey, look, it's my good friend's meat. I don't like you right now, though. You don't really drop meat. God, bunnymen suck now. Like, bunnymen farms are still fine, but individually, a bunnyman is just horrible to have to fight to try to get food as Wigfred. I don't want to deal with this village. Here, you take this. You hold this for a second. I'm going to just walk through. I think pigskins are fine. It's been a while. Are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. We're chill. Beeflo are boring? That's also fine. You don't have to do beeflo at all. Most people don't. I feel like beeflo have gotten a better image since they had their um, kind of refresh with a year of the beeflo, but they're still not for everyone. It's still not a permanent, like, let's always have this thing. All right, you take the Thulacite. I'll take this, you take that. No, not just fighters though. You can use Rider B flows pretty well. A Rider B flow can be effective and that's what I wanna try in this world to actually get to try it out. Which is weird because I wasn't seeing us rushing a Magi to do a, a no science ruins rush. Oh, I don't wanna deal with this. Oh, I could make a spear. We have the... Oh, let's go Nordic. Really? What are the drop rates on these enemies? They're bad. Whew! Alright, where are we on the map? Nowhere special. Uh, was that deciduous? That is deciduous. That could be our pig king. Not that I need that right now. It takes too long and I prefer my own fights than using a beef flow. That's what a rider beef flow is for. That's what I'm going to do a rider for in this one. So the uh, inventory for fighting hounds uh, normally is bad, but if you use that argument of Wilson being near as fast as that sacrifice and backpack slot, 
But I mean, those are two different statements, though. You're you're arguing for a beefalo that is roughly five percent faster being good. I'm arguing for a beefalo that's five percent slower, but then also opens up your inventory slot and also opens up the ability to save a bunch of inventory space. Like you're you're mixing two different arguments and creating a new argument, which is not what I said. And Van Cam, how you doing? How's life treating you? I like Wurt. One trick and like keep them. Merms on me. Aw. Keeping the merms on you. No, don't need that. Like, Wurt has a really interesting play style, but I don't know if I'd ever want to play her solo. I did have fun in our multi in our world. I was wondering why you were axing things when you were wig. Yeah, I forgot that we had picked up the twigs already. Uh, isn't Ornery with the Glossomer Saddle still about the same speed? And it's 50 damage. Uh, an Ornery with a Glossomer Saddle is faster than a Rider with a War Saddle. But also does more damage. It's just straight up better for combat. Like, a, a, a Rider is not for combat. Even the War Saddle is not great. It's okay. 41 damage is not the worst in the world. You three-shot things. That's fine. It's okay. I don't need any more flint, I don't think. Alright, we're going to save Magi for night. I'm going to be cheap because we only have six uh, Nightmare Fuel and I don't have enough monster meat to go insane. Consistently yet. We're going to have to go down to the ruins to get more. And Chill West, how you doing? How's life treating you? I'm doing okay. We started the day with a weird game. It's not a bad game. It was a bad stream game. It's a bad stream game. But it... it if you like that kind of game, you'll like it. Um, I did not realize how heavy on the... It was uh, Lost Ruins. Lost Ruins. A game that came out, I think, like a week or so ago. Two weeks ago. Dev sent me a key for it. We tried it. It was a Metroidvania game with heavy anime influence. Like, I thought it would just have the style of it. But uh, it was very fan servicey, very self-referential to a lot of animes and things like that. Like, I wasn't even picking up half the references. The Queen was like, oh, that's the bunny from Clamp. It's like, yeah. Yeah, no. Not not for me. I might play it later with Laqueen. She seemed to like the references that were going on, but... Uh, maybe I'm just too old for that. It was very fan y and that kind of turns me off of a game nowadays. Because a game needs to be interesting without the fan service. I don't think this is Pig King. I think this is a fake out, unless... No. Oh, gold, though. May 13th. Oh, that was exactly a week ago. Yeah, it makes sense because they sent me the key like two weeks ago and I usually get them about a week or so before launch. There is no word that properly describes the amount of hate I have towards this character. Which character? Wigfrid or the character in the Lost Ruins game? I also don't like much fan service for fan service sake. Yeah. I mean, by the time I fought the third enemy and it was just the same kind of booba enemy again and it's like, mm, nope. Nope, I'm not the right person to be playing or streaming this game. Oh, Wigfrid? Nah, Wigfrid's fun. We don't get a lot of chances to play Wigfrid, but I'm a fan of her. Plus, I love the skin. It's adorable. Is this our picking? Nah, no, it's killer bees? No, it's just bees. It's Bee Queen! It's always Bee Queen. There's a road. It's got to be Bee Queen, right? Makes sense to me. I don't know uh, by what logic they made this character with the worst voice, the singer. Ha! <laughs> ah, she's okay. It's popular to be anti-Wigford on Twitch. Really? Oh man, am I just going to get harassed by people because I'm playing Wigford this game? Oh, that's sad. Is that what's going to happen? I hope not. Let's get more twigs. We're very low on twigs. I, do, are we going to use this much grass as Wigford? Somebody said bundle wraps. I don't know when we're going to have bundle wraps. Weber's voice is worse. Oof. I don't know. Her voice isn't that bad. You can barely hear it. Ironic that there's uh, mental health when you can lose your sanity in this game. Ha! <laughs> How you doing, Um Doin? How's life treating you? I disagree. Wigford is definitely worth... Oh no! 
Uh, mental health is for the people watching, not the people in game. She's ugly. Ouch. Ouch. I don't think so. I think everybody's beautiful in their own way. Do you have yawn? I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't have the kit. I don't have the uh, pajamas or whatever it is. In first 60 days, Wilson is greater than Wigfred. Really? I, I don't know if I'd buy that. I mean, I consider for the for the early game, Wigfred is barely below Wolfgang as far as like rushing down bosses and not needing like almost any supplies. What about Sleepy? No, I got Slow Clap though. Oh, I love Wormwood. Wormwood is my main character, main yeet. And how you doing? How's life treating you? You should get Carol. I don't have Carol either. I got no. I have none of the special emotes. I don't make any of the skins or buy any of them. Every character is better than Wilson. Hey, look, is that Jeff? That might be our Jeff. Ooh, Chester. I guess we could start taming a beefalo. Hey, let's get rid of this one log. Good thing I brought that instead of fossils. <laughs> Isn't Carol free? You have to to get Carol. You have to get um an entire winter feast skin. Uh, using mic or no? A microphone? I am using a microphone. You should be able to hear me. If you can't, that's something on your end because other people are responding. Oh my god, profanity! I don't know what's going on with our Twitch uh, standards recently. Wilson's downside is that there is no upside for me, at least. I mean, you could argue that like using blue caps in the early game is very strong. Um, no, I mean Mike the character. I've never heard of Mike. I'm guessing this is a uh, is going to lead into a joke like do you know about Joe and it's Joe Mama but I don't know this one so you've got me. Ah, I see. It's that one. Oh, yes, delicious food. Don't need that, Garbo. <laughs> Maturity moment. <laughs> Sorry for bringing the subject up again. Oh, I just read an article that Twitch just demonetized the biggest hot tub streamer. Ah, oh, LaQueen told me about that. It's not as doom and gloom as people are trying to make it out to be. It's not even that Twitch demonetized them. It's that a bunch of people who were buying ad space on Twitch said, we don't want our ads to be run on what is essentially softcore porn. If you don't prevent hot tub streams from running ads, we're not going to run ads on anyone's stream. We don't want to associate our product with softcore pornography, which is what they were basically doing. Um, so Twitch disallowed that streamer from uh, earning ad revenue or running ads if they're doing a hot tub stream. They can still earn money from subs, they can still earn money from bits and all of that stuff. The only thing that was demonetized was the inability of ads run because it was causing uh, companies from leaving. Yeah, it's no big deal. People are probably going to try to blow it up to be a big deal, but it's really not. Only fans is the goal anyway. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't think it's going to affect that person at all. Although the the publicity from having it happen to this person, I'm sure, is good for their brand. When I heard she was uh, still running ads but not getting any money. Oh. I don't see why the companies would have a problem with that. The problem that watch it like... Oh, the people that watch it like softcore porn. Uh, but the problem is associating their brand. Like... It's not the people that are watching it that's the problem, nuclear physicist. And how you doing? How's life treating you? It's the fact that, like, oh, uh, let's say that, I don't know, Bran, um, I don't know, Charmin toilet paper. Let's say that gets associated with being run as an advertisement on softcore porn. Well, suddenly you're going to have, you know, people from different religious groups and be like, oh, no, this is, we can't use this product. We got to get away from this because it's being used for something shady, something we don't believe in, that kind of thing. And it's going to cause other people to leave your product because of the associations with it. It's not the people on the stream that's the problem, it's hurting the brand in general. Does Charmin run ads on Twitch? Wait, do they actually? I literally picked a name out of a hat. A hat. I have never seen an ad on Twitch because I don't watch Twitch, so I have no idea what ads they have. Are you joking to me? Is this a, is this a joke? Hey, look, we got a nose there. They do! <laughs> I've got Charmin ads! <laughs> What are the chance? I guess I picked a major brand. It makes sense, but... Rupert's not getting as much uh, from Meaty Stew and can eat honey. I mean, she can eat Meaty Stew. It's fine. 
Like, meaty stew, you still profit food. Even if you put four large meats in there, you're still getting out, um... 120 food if you wait till you're starving. Plus, you can wait until you uh, starve a little bit over time, weak for taking less starvation damage. We got two of these right next to each other? Cool. That's gonna be easy to set up shadow chess pieces, then. Twitch is being shady, or people's being shady. I mean, I, it just has to do with other brands wanting to control what they're associated with. Uh, so why did you decide to leave the 5k day world? Uh, we're not leaving it, we're just take, we're just playing a different world for today because I want to play Wigfrit some. Like, you don't get that new game experience whenever you're playing the same old world every single day. So we're just going to do a little bit of Wigfrit. And work on killing Celestial Champion as one character and have fun doing it. Let's get these nerds. Come here, I want some food. I'm hungry. Really? I mean, I just can't really abide that because she's got this disgustingly good armor and even a fine starter weapon. Uh, do you have a plan for tanking sanity during champion? Nope. I got nothing. I have not planned this playthrough at all. I was gonna wait till this weekend and give myself some time to plan it now, but that game we were playing earlier was just... not very good. <laughs> Uh, to, to be polite about it, to be diplomatic. It was not a very good game, so... We're doing this now. We're doing this. Ooh, free monster meat. And teeth, that's right. Uh, do I need teeth for something? Here, chesty boy, you take this, I guess? And these for now? Anyway, I'll hold this for now. Take staff? We are going to take the staff. I need to get the, the meat first, though. Ooh, and a blue gem. That's not bad, since we were going to rush magic. Any Why do I keep checking Chester? Now we can have this. Cause a little bit of rain. Take this. That's a good item when we go back. Rain will be heavy? Ah, eh, it's early enough that we're not really going to freeze from it, probably. And we get food. Uh, maybe... Wait, putting food in Chester, it rots faster, right? I guess eh, it's the same either way. It probably rots faster in Chester than it does if it's wet. Nah, Wigfred's too hungry. We're not doing a vegan playthrough this time. I see a tall bird roll around like a tumbleweed. That would be terrifying. It's like a chest? What do you mean? Knight armor and dark suit? Oh yeah, probably just wearing knight armor if I'm tanking the guardian will be enough. Kids can subscribe on Twitch, right? Uh, you're not allowed, as according to TOS, you're not allowed to use Twitch if you're under 13. So if you're under 13, you're not supposed to be here, you're not supposed to sub. I think Chester is the same as ground storage. What is ground storage? 50%? We have done vegan playthroughs as Wigfred. It's... It's way more boring than you're thinking, because you just live off of healing until spring, and then you hope that you get meaty or leafy meat. You gotta wait for the lower plants to spawn, and then you're still just gonna live off of healing. It's a really boring playthrough. 13 to 18 year olds can sub. Yeah, well, that is, that is an opinion, and Bernhard, welcome back. How you doing? How's life treating you? Probably just kill these spider dens. I'm not gonna come back here again. Stream still needs the sub. Dun dun dun. Only shadow Chester works like. Oh, okay, so normal Chester is normal. Then I'll put it in here so it doesn't get wet. Oh, this is Triple Mac. God, how did I not recognize this biome? We even walked by like two of them. Of course it is. It's a rock biome. Yeah. Uh, so that's gotta be the rock one. That's the grass one. So there's a savanna one somewhere.
Shadow Chester acts as if he were ground storage. I thought it was all Chesters except for the blue Chester. Uh, but Shadow Chester apparently causes rot to food faster. Well, no, they did change their TOS. They said that as long as you're wearing enough clothing for the activity that you're that is appropriate to the activity that you're doing, then it's okay. And technically speaking, if you're in a hot tub, a bikini is appropriate wear, right? That's what it's for. So people just kind of found a loophole in the change TOS. They're not breaking any rule, and it's not like Twitch isn't enforcing the rule. It's just the way they wrote the rule was stupid, and it's getting exploited. Actually, somebody tried to do that with speedrun.com, and I had to go change the rules again. But I, I changed it where the timing began on the first, anim or the first uh, frame of movement of the character. That way people who had kind of laggy computers could still, you know, start a run, but not have the, um, uh, the downside of starting slower than other people who had a faster computer. Like, they'd be at a disadvantage. And then somebody's like, ooh, I have an idea. I'm going to speed run Deerclops, but I'm literally going to AFK on a, on a connected server for, what is it, three and a half hours? Then they popped into the world and killed, um, Deerclops at, like, four hours into the game. And it's like, yeah, no, that's not why we changed this rule in. To, I had to watch the entire character select screen. It's like, no thank you. Nah, that's not what we were doing here. Oh, look, right at the front. That's not bad. Let's go here. Where's this going? If you're in a hot tub, the appropriate clothes would be no clothes. I don't know about that, Dad Zerbs. <laughs> is a bikini appropriate wear for gaming? According to Twitch, no. No, it is not. No, and the thing is, it's Twitch's platform, so they get to guesstimate what is and isn't appropriate. Which is kind of why I don't like rules like that whenever they're not easily enforceable or they're up to interpretation. Because one day, a mod could be having a bad day and could choose to take one rule, you know, very seriously, and another day, a different mod could be like, nah, this is okay. Which makes it very inconsistent. In single player using Siesta in a tent, that's fine. That's that's speeding up the day count, which is a mechanic of the game. But like waiting in the character select screen because the the timing of the run changed. No thank you. Well I'll tell that to uh, the literal channel we're talking about because that's what they wear while gaming. Really? Oh, well then you're right. I guess Twitch is not enforcing their rules. That's on Twitch though. I can't do anything about that. Oh, there's another cave. We don't really need cave info anymore, though. What are we doing now? We're sitting at 24 gold. I guess we should try to tech up to science, right? Oh, there's also our Mac Moon Forest. We have all of our Mac Tusks kind of near each other. Uh, we just gotta remember what wormhole that was. We're going back to the your opinion. Well, that's just like your opinion, man. Opinions are overrated. Well, I mean, that's just like your opinion. I don't care one way or the other on whether it should be on this platform or not. I just wish Twitch enforced their rules consistently. Yeah, if if wishes and butts were coconuts, we'd all have a merry good Christmas or something like that. But yeah, I mean, you got to consider Twitch's position. It's also hard for them to enforce rules like that on somebody who's making them a lot of money. Like, I'm sure it'd be appreciated by some people if they got taken down. But Twitch is also getting money every time someone spins bits, every time someone subs. So, pretty hard ask for a company to be like, well, we're making tons of money and there's no downside. I guess we should be harder on them or something. Opinions are like butts. Everyone has one and they stink. That's not true. That's not true. My butt doesn't stink. How dare you? How dare you? You don't even know what my butt smells like. It's spectacular. Alternatively, it could work on a healing source. In this game, could focus on B-Queen or get a healing source. Um, 
I guess we should work on a food source. Maybe that's the downside of Wigford is it's kind of hard to just live off the land. <sighs> like every other character can kind of just, you know, walk around, eat butterflies and berries and stuff like that. Wigford's actually got to stop and kill stuff, which isn't necessarily bad, but it's definitely going to be a slowdown. Is not that kind of stream. Not that kind of stream yet. Hashtag positivity. I mean, I've already sold out to Steel Series once. Who who knows who I'll sell out to next time? Ooh, this could be our Lunar Island. Maybe here. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Please don't show your butt. <laughs> ah. You sold out to Steel Series? Yeah, we got a uh, we had our first corporate sponsor at uh Misto. Misto M Productions LLC. I think I've already I think they already ran their max number of ads today though on our previous stream, so we basically earned nothing because it's based on the viewer count, which kinda sucks. That means I guess I have to stream Don't Starve to start the day. Welcome to another day of Twitch where the uh, streamer gets defensive about the smell of their butt. <laughs> We have a lot of options of these. We have a lot of suspicious marbles in this world. So that's going to be really easy once we start doing that. Chester, give me some food. I'm going to eat this. There we go. Don't worry about it. Dun dun dun. It's another cave. I don't really care about cave info right now. Another side note, the dragon fruit buds that sprouted were duds. Aww. But at least I know for sure flowering season has begun. Well, hopefully the, the next ones that grow out will. Oh, let's get our water while we can. No, you have to cook it first. Wait, what? Do people cook their food? Why? What's the point? Literally started talking about that can be used as an alternative healing source. Uh, I thought he was talking about the butt. <laughs> oh, you know, it's the most powerful muscle in the body. But did you know it's also an excellent uh, healing source? I mean, I still have, like, Wilson level of HP, and if you factor in my damage resistance, it's it's probably more HP than Wilson has. <laughs> no, I'm on that, um, what is it called? The Proto? Proto diet? Proto? God, there was a name for, like, eating mostly raw meat, right? Or, like, like rare steak or something was the diet? Proto? Proto? No, I've lost it. I don't remember. Paleo! That's it. Paleo. Knew it had a P. Yeah, we're on the paleo diet. You, didn't you know? It's Wigfred? Didn't you know, bruh? We're on the paleo diet. We gotta eat mostly raw food. This is, our ancestors didn't cook. That makes it great for you, man. Didn't you know? Ooh, we're at the desert. Which desert? Oasis! Hey, there's goats here! Paleo had nothing to do with uncooked. I thought that was part of it. It's like you ate mostly raw foods because that's what, like, cavemen ate. Or, like, rare, like, steaks or something like that. It was, like, mostly meat. No, like, breads or anything like that. No complex carbs or whatever. Was that not it? Can I have this? I want to fight you. Let's go, buddy. Cavemen had strong stomachs. It's also just what you're used to eating. But cavemen also had like an average life expectancy of like five days compared to us nowadays, so not sure why you would want to be like them. Cavemen died at like 40. Did they really make it to 40? That's pretty impressive. Paleo diet is a diet based on food which is adherents presume were available to Paleolithic humans. This often includes low grain consumption, high intake of protein and vegetables. But did it not, like, have them be raw or something? Not raw, but, like, either raw veggies or, like, rare meat, right? Was that not part of it? I could have sworn that's what it was. 
I thought we even had that diet over here. Japan steals a lot of diets from other places. They're very popular here. Started cooking food because it helps us digest the food and makes it safer to eat. I would imagine the safer to eat is like the most important part of that. I thought this was heavy rain. It's been raining for like two days and we're barely wet. Even Aztecs had a 25 year, jeez. God, I'd be dead. Man, I feel so slow taking this off every time. I mean, it is literally a, a trap rain. Every time I see a crawling horror, I'm just going to eat a monster meat. I see a nightmare, take a drink. It's brought down by how many infants die. Ah, that is true. Oh. That's actually one of the greatest things about our current age of, of being human. Is that with a pretty high certainty, pretty much every new parent can expect that their kids will survive childhood. Which is which is like spectacular. Fantastic. Was gonna merge uh, fantastic and spectacular, but I realized that probably would have sounded like a swear word almost. We stopped it. But yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, I can eat another, yeah. But in war, it's the pink peak strength. Wish I could have found my goats. I was hoping to get some actual food that wasn't monster meat. There's a uh, antlion right here. You guys didn't know. Look for the triangle. <gasps> oh, baby! Oh, oh. Mm, always fun. You know what? Who cares? We would have got. We have four Mac Tusk right next to each other in this world. But you know what? I don't care. I'm happy. Feels good. Let's go ahead and get a horn and we'll make a morning star. Ow! Oh, come on. Okay, I need space. Ch Hutch, Chester, Chester, help me. You take those, and also this. Kill the merms. They don't. Were there merms? Oh, there is a merm. Oh, it's just a little war. God, I don't want to fight them. They do have meat on them, you're right. No, oh, just die. Thank you. Ah, yeah, girl. Ooh, look, free meat. Ooh, a pig belt! I guess we'll take the pig skins. Do I have those? No, I don't. Where did I put the pig skins? Ah, there they are. Easy. Dude, easy breezy. Oh, come on. You got no I got no room either, dude. Chester, we need space, buddy. All right. All right. I hate fighting these guys. Got him. Pigs drop belts. Uh very rarely. It's like a 1% outside of um Drop the axe, that's a good call. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, da, 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 da. You take this, murder that. Pick up that. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little shuffle. There we go. Uh, beautiful, let's go. And Blake, welcome back. How you doing? How's life treating you? All right, well that is a lot of food. 
So let's just go keep exploring. Love to find a walking cane, day nine, baby. Day nine, walking cane and magi. I'm feeling good. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling like we don't really need that Rider B flow anymore. <laughs> oh, poor Rider B flow. You had a chance to be awesome and then the game just ended already. All right, we have a nice rock biome here. I don't think it's spider quarry. Uh, this is a meteor biome. One silk away from an instant piggyback. That's... Ah, oh, we are short, yeah. Yeah, we'll grab another uh, pig somewhere. Yeah, let's get a piggyback, I guess. That'll give us a reason to to tame a beef low anyways. Free grass suit! Burr, 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 burr. Even got a horn on day nine is nice, yeah. We might actually use that. A morning star is pretty fantastic. Here, we can get some more silk over here. Chester, run. Chester, run! I need this, though. Ah, there's what I'm looking for. Thank you. No, I don't have space! Ooh, have a good time taking the dog out. Morningstar breaks 50 on Wigfrid too, right? Oh, that's a good question. I don't know Wigfrid's breakpoints well enough. Morningstar, I know, has some wonky damage, though. All right, you guys fight each other. I'm gonna take the silk somewhere and we're gonna go. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, didn't you say yesterday you want to do this as a run? Wait, which one? I said I'm not gonna do a speed run. This is not a speed run. I don't want anyone to confuse this with a speed run or anything else. We're gonna take our time and enjoy just playing the game. I like doing no mod runs from time to time to remind myself what it's actually like. Uh, isn't there a monster meat in Chester? Uh, there should be a couple of monster meat, yeah. There's one monster meat. Wow, we had a stack of one of each. I'm not a fan of this world, Jen. This map is redonkulously huge and laid out. Oh, hey, buddy, what up? Got him. No mod run. Well, Sawchuck, you gotta leave. Ha! Oh no, we just evicted our... Oh, that's not how we zoom in on the map. We just evicted our only mod. Dun dun dun. Oh, where were you earlier, Sawchuck? I needed someone to help me realize if I was being a prude or not about that game earlier. Because it just seemed like too much fan service, and I'm like, no, it's uncomfortable. But yeah, I don't know if I'm the prude or not. How long does this rain last when you take the ice staff? Jeez, this is forever. Oh, right, I got a walking cane. Oh, we zoomy now. God, I could be so fast. Ooh, could do a hunt. Uh, does that lower my sanity? No. I'll eat it anyways. Speed is key! I didn't see much of that game, but what I saw was a bit much. I mean, that was the breaking point. That was the breaking point, because earlier we fought some anime schoolgirl who then transformed into what can only be described as an orc version of Ladybeard, if you remember that person. And that was like five seconds. I was like, it can't get weirder than this, guys. This has got to be the maximum weirdness. And then we fought that mimic boss, and I'm like, no. No, thank you. It doesn't, it's not bad. It was okay. God, it was just, it was not for me. That's the thing. And Nanny, how you doing? How's life treating you? Annyeong haseyo. I don't speak Korean, but that's, that is the extent of it. Did like the goblin girl with her pickaxe, though. While the outfit was a fad fan service it was pretty tame, yeah. It was, it was the mimic that broke me. It was the mimic that broke me. That was just too far gone. I should be killing pigs, shouldn't I?
But yeah, every other character, it just slowly got worse as time went on. It just got worse as time went on. Like, it started out, my character was fully clothed, that was fine. First person we met had a little boobage window. Just in case, the, I don't know, they need to see or something. Uh, and then it just progressively every character we met was wearing less clothes. So we had to stop it when we did, because who knows what the next boss would have been like. <laughs> oh, I'd have lost my channel. Oh no. I had people uh, die to that rain after picking up the staff on day 10. Oh no, how long does it last? I wonder, would it be worth it to prototype a boat to make bridges, or is it too much wood for exploring? If you're somebody like Woody, yeah, it might actually be worth it to speed up your exploration time with boats. If you, you know, get a world gen like that where you can just pop over and hop over or something. But it would take a very specific world gen. You'd probably have to know what's ahead of you. In general, no, you're not going to sit there and prototype boats. But if you're Woody, if you have a lot of wood on you, then maybe it might save some time. But then again, as Woody, you could also just turn into Goose and run over it without making the bridge, so. Ugh, double deciduous. Is this a reroll? We've had such a fantastic start in this world that I'd feel really bad starting over just because I don't like the map. But I really, I, I really disproportionately hate double deciduous. Ruining my Klaus hunts. Wish we had a sea, uh, fish, sea fishing rod. That's a bunch of food right there on the side. I think carrying a sea fishing rod with you for day-to-day -day exploration is worth it. Like, I've been told it's not common to see them right on the shore, but I have seen them on the shore a lot. Generally speaking, too much wood, mainly because uh, Think Tank burns wood as well. That is true, yeah. It's going to take 8 or 16 logs just to make the Think Tank, right? Because it takes 4 boards. There's more? Yeah, no, they show up on the sides all the time. I think we need a fishing rod. But yeah, like here, if you would have had a board, you could have cut through all this. I think I'm going to have to run through probably the entire marsh and maybe even the desert, the dragonfly desert, to get to our deciduous. Here's another rock biome, I guess. Oh, it's biome overlap. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a tentacle here. Oh, no. Streamer luck, and I'm considering restarting. Oh, hey, food. Oh, that was a big mama jama. No, oh, I thought we could do three with a walking cane. I'll take this. If I had a crock pot, we could turn two monster meat into a bacon and eggs using the tall bird egg. So maybe I keep it since I'm not starving right now. Uh, this is just going to be this area. That's not important to me. Let's grab this, though. It's free. Too bad I didn't keep that board or that log earlier. Why did I listen to Sawchuck? He always tells me to throw away my important items. Like that one log I got from a, uh, from a stalagmite that would have saved the day now. We could have had two prefabbed fires. Ugh, always mod's fault. Wopsters only spawn near shore, so it's a good source of food. How much food do wopsters give? Would it be worth it as Wakefred? I'm gonna try it in this world. We're gonna make a, a sea fishing rod and just go for it. Ooh, pighead torches. Uh, I don't need any twigs or skin right now, though. Going all in on the no mod stream. <laughs> Oof. No, it was the right choice to drop that earlier. Wopsters are only worth as healing. But I mean, it's free to fish them up, right? Is this not going to connect? Is there a different way over here? How much, how much food do you just get from eating a Wopster raw? Or just like ripping it apart and eating it? Pew, pew. Oh my god, this doesn't go anywhere. This is actually a dead end. No way. Where does that connect? Only 12.5? There are morsel? Ew. Did that connect there and I just missed the entrance? 
I mean, how long does it take to catch a Wobster? This is our life now. Ouch. Uh, that could easily be our Lunar Island, by the way. Those are two straight cuts kind of pointing towards the same area. I even had to refresh the stream because I got kicked out of mod. Wait, really? Oh, wait, no, you left as a mod. What? You monster. Oh, no. Oh, God, this really is just a dead end? I seriously thought this was going where we were going. I should have made a second helmet. I think catching a Wobster is like 20% chance without proper tackle. Wait, what? There's a chance? I thought catching the fish was just like a skill thing. Is there actually like a luck thing for Wobsters? Hey, look, one more log. It's perfect. The chance, oh, the chance for them to bite. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, we can go ahead and make this now. Oh, hey, look, that one extra log I had earlier was not important at all. <laughs> Good thing we threw it away. Save us the time of throwing it away now. Whoopsies. The mod betrays the streamer. Oh no! I really miss this game. Have to find time to play it. This game does take a lot of time to play. That's like the biggest downside of Don't Starve. Is It's not really a game you can pick up and play for 10 minutes. Or at least I can't. Maybe you can. But I can't really pick up Don't Starve, play it for 10 minutes, and feel like, you know, anything good has happened or I've done anything. It's a game you really need to be able to sit down at least like an hour, probably even more. It's a really long form game. Most things don't happen that fast. Even if you're speed running, most things don't happen that fast. You prefer it that way as a short game? There's no mods. Mods are gone. It's time to riot. <gasps> it's a thing. This is the modless run. Getting friends for DST is hard. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We gotta do another shared world soon. We gotta make sure we can actually commit to that before we start it. Because I don't want to start a world and then us... Jeez, could you guys calm down? What are friends? Friends are the people that are slower than you in a zombie apocalypse. Pretty sure. I think that's the definition. It was right here. Hey, look, Glomer! Fantastic. Too many games are short or fit for 25 to 60 minutes. Oh, you prefer it as a long game. No, no, no. That's, I mean, I prefer it as a long game. I wouldn't want to change Don't Starve. But Don't Starve is also one of those games that if you get 10 minutes, it's not really worth uh, running. Did they run the ad again? I thought they said they weren't going to run the ad anymore today. Did they lie to me? Is that what just happened? They're scamming me. Those monsters. But yeah, that's our sponsor. Steel Series, a brand I actually use, even though I don't have to pimp them out. Literally, I just run the ad like a station now. Oh, they are running. I thought they said they weren't going to run anymore today. They only run like eight per day, and they ran eight on the earlier stream. Oh, friends, is that sitcom? You right, you right, you right. The one with that girl with the haircut. What became popular in the 90s. I was too young for friends. Where's Chester? Did Chester die? You have all my food. You better not have died. Where are you? Come here, Chester. I'm hungry. Whew, we're low on HP. What's going on? You would think I'm bad at this game. Uh, I guess we'll eat these. Oh, we got low sanity. Let's come over here, kill this guy first. And do, 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 do. go ahead and make... Nope. That one. I think Friends of the Sitcom everyone really enjoyed at some point in their life. I never saw it. I've seen it mentioned in a lot of list videos. I have a set of Steel Series headphones. They are all right, I guess. Mine is an old version. They have been improved on since recent ones. I mean, I've been using a Steel Series keyboard and a mouse pad for a long time. 
Now, if they want to send me free products, I'll show those products off on stream. I doubt they're listening, but I'll, I'll pimp your products for free stuff. I haven't had a new keyboard in like six years. So, you know, free swag and I'll brag. <laughs> free swag and I'll brag. There we go. That's, that's the saying for today. That is a lot of pig houses. That's a pretty nice... Man, I would love to find this village on a speed run. All those houses right next to each other. I have a 10 year old mouse pad for 10 years. <laughs> and more pig things right there. Jeez. Maybe I should stop and tech up. During speaking, had I known uh, everything about the headset, I wouldn't have bought it. Oof. Oof. Oh, mods really are betraying us today. Just pooping on our sponsors. Proprietary connectors aren't are bad and I don't approve. Do they still do that? Oof. I don't have their headphones. I just have headphones I got from a Combini. Nice bunch of houses. Would have been a shame if someone uh would have hammered them. We're going to have to stop and tech up soon. I don't... Oh, maybe it was this way where the biome split. There is space. I don't think that's our bi... I don't think that's our lunar island. Maybe it's over here. I don't know if they still do that. My headset is like five generations old. Whew. So what are we doing? What are we looking for? Now I'm just running around because I didn't have a plan. I was going to be doing a long form ruins rush and then we didn't. Eh, let's just tech up. In lieu of anything better to do, let's uh, just get some stuff. Actually, don't use the headset that much anymore. I got uh, bone conduction headphones and I really like them. I mean, my favorite headphones were the Gradio ones that I got back in like university, but I can't afford to replace them because they're expensive headphones. But they're really nice. They had a really nice sound. One day, one day I can replace them. Guess we'll chop down some of these trees. Would hate to see a birch nut monster, but... You guys have headphones? You kind of gotta have them as a streamer. And our nightmare fuel is now wet. Oof. Twelve, what do we need? Two more. Four more. I mean, bone conduction headphones are barely headphones. Oh, is that a type of headphones, not a brand? I have never heard of that. Hey, Kitty Smina, how you doing? How's life treating you? Uh, I got a walking cane from a walking cane set piece. So just by luck. Uh, they don't even touch your ears. Oh. Uh, yes, wet nightmare fuel is less efficient if you put it inside your magi or something like that. But how you doing, Kitty? How's life treating you? I think we just go back downstairs. There's nothing else to do up here. We have enough to tech up now. No, we don't. I need two more. I got distracted. Nightmare fuel is olive oil. Yeah, it doesn't. it just doesn't mix with the... Um, Let's go downstairs with this. Where? What is the cave entrance? We're going to use that one. Oh, you would freeze. Alright, it's finally stopped raining, so let's dry off, I guess. Waxy crayons, how you doing? How's life treating you? Alright. Uh, the one day we make a fire. Let's cook our food while we're here. Woo! Hey, good thing I dropped that weapon on the ground. Really? 
You need the bone right in front of your ear. They sit on that and play sounds to the bone. Oh, interesting. Trying to do an essay, but I have no attention span. Oh, no. It is a bad place to be if you're trying to do an essay. <laughs> Oh, this game is very distracting. Alright. I do know what I want to do. We're going to need more wood. I'm going to go back to what I was doing originally. We got distracted by the, the no science rush. Let's not let that stop us. I lost my invisible axe. It's never coming back. It's gone. We'll have to make a new one. Let's go chop down real trees. I don't like these trees. It's in Chester. Ah! Oh, okay. Why did I put an axe inside Chester? Alright, I'm just gonna make this. I'm too lazy to make uh, bacon and eggs. They are wireless, which is nice and light. And there is no fatigue from wearing them in or over yours. Ah. Well, that sounds pretty handy. When did they change that you can pick up statues when on a beef? Uh, March. Year of the beef low update. Alright, let's pop this down. Can't make piggyback with this, yeah. Oh, the seed packet, I forgot that even existed. Um... Okay, let's just start making stuff. And Nanny, how you doing? Okay, let's get that pre-made. Go ahead and grab these back up. Get another axe. Uh, could make a shovel too, but nah. Not going to make a backpack here. Take the gold. I'll take the rocks. Okay. They aren't perfect, though. There are definitely downsides to them. Maybe he's struggling to make him come next to you. Wait, which one? Make him chop the trees? I wish I could make Chester chop the trees. Might as well. A shovel's definitely more valuable for people who can use it on mushrooms, but I guess it is free wood. We have the inventory, yeah. Chopped by the warrior of the woods. That's you. You were the one who chopped it, Wigfred. You do remember this, right? It is very important to me that you remember this. Take Graves for the life-giving for heart-rending ballad. That's true. That would actually really help in the ruins. Let's try that. Let's do it. Let's go dig some graves. It'll also let us go insane again because we just got back all our sanity. Ugh. God, it's like building stuff made her happy or whatever. Ugh. Lame. I'm going to need a lot more silk, too. So we're going to have to go to the spider's... Um, this is going to be the slowest magic rush ever. This isn't even a rush anymore. <laughs> We're just building magic. That was not what I said to do. There you go. It's a magical stroll. We chop down two more trees. We'll just do it. You know, I kind of, like, I low-key hate finding the Walking Cane early game as a streamer. Because it's always confusing when new people come in. That's not the first time we've had that question about me having a Walking Cane early game. And it's like, no, it just worked out this time. But it's weird. There's got to have at least have been a few people who have come in, seen that, and been like, oh, he must just be spawning stuff in, and then just, like, left. Okay, I need... I need soak out the wazoo. And also, we'll dig any graves, because that's... that is actually smart. That is quite smart. Free twigs! Oh, free armor! Yes! Oh, delicious grass suit. Guys, this is how you play Wigfred. You get a grass suit, you find an early walking cane, win the game. GG. GG, no re. Easy. 
Can I get like one spider's attention? They're all just walking away from me. They're scared of me, dude. Doing so well. Necrodancer is kind of annoying. Ah, that's really sad to hear. I will actually keep this. Hold on. Uh, Chester, can you hold this? Chester is doing some work for us right now. Uses real full screen and it doesn't remember me changing it off full screen. Oh no! I don't like when a game doesn't save your settings. That's kind of annoying. What crown? We're going for the Celestial Crown. As an added rule, we're not going to allow ourselves to fight Fuel Weaver before we get the Celestial Crown. So I want to kill Fuel Weaver wearing that hat. This might actually be enough silk. We might already be done. It's definitely enough silk, because we have some in Chester. What are you doing, Nico? Welcome back. How's life treating you? Good thing we had that grass suit. It's the only thing that kept us alive. It's not going to be like a one day, you know, speed run kind of thing. We're taking our time and having a good time. Look at that. We're back to full HP. Who needs to cook your food? Just eat raw monster meat. You're Wigfred. Just go murder some stuff when you're injured. We are not getting a lot of spider clans, though. That is very low numbers. Uh, where are graves? There's a grave over here. I'm too fast, guys. I can't I can't tell where I am. Rar! Is that a pig? Do pigs say rar? Oh, is that shoehorn? I don't e I don't even have shoes. What good is that gonna do me? Who needs spider glands when you can still uh heals? Uh it would help against some of the bishops, but maybe we don't need it if I do the magic stuff. I just like having extra healing if I can. Um, I'm not going out of my way over there. <sighs> nah, we we'll make a life-giving amulet later, because I'm rushing magic. We got our stuff. Let's get, uh, let's get back over here, and then we'll go down to the caves. I need to catch our bunnies, too. I'm just gonna put this on the ground. Just <laughs> I'm gonna forget that I have it, and then uh, let's just not have it. Okay. Go ahead and make this. We'll get the fool's hat, of course, because that's fancy. Yes, we're beautiful now. All right. Go ahead and make four of these. Two, three, four. Put those away. Uh, drop this here. Drop this here, drop this here, drop this here. Go ahead and get this. I am nowhere even remotely close to where there are bunnies, wow. Why am I checking out here? There's like no bunnies here, let's just go. Love the game. Played since uh, a year on PS4. No mods with my wife. Running some 200 days islands, and I still learn a lot. Used to play Wigfred uh, like your, but always with a backpack. That seems at uh, armor is more valuable. Nah, for me person, like I do like backpacks. I just haven't made one yet. I haven't made my piggyback. Uh, but like Magiluminescence gives you a 20% speed buff, so that's just very strong to have. 
Um, I usually main... I, I think my main is Wormwood now. We're actually taking a break to play a new game. I haven't played Wigford in a long time. So we're going to see some strange plays, but these are my flavors on the character. I need more space still. Ugh. I can wear this. Let's just go. We gotta go so far to get rabbits. My goodness. Did not plan this ahead. This hat's pretty cute, though. <laughs> How could you? That grass suit was like a father to me. Well, that sucks. <laughs> it's gone now. It's never coming back. I don't know. I wish Grass Suit could actually have some good uses or something. Like, it just feels like that's an item that has potential if it just had more HP. That's all it needs, is just more HP. Oh, there's a free basket trap here. We even knew that on the map. Where are the bunnies? Oh, come on, game. It's not bad for picking cactus, but I mean, as Wigfred, I'm not going to pick cactus anyways. And, um, what's it called? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, don't you dare. There we go. Thank you. Can I just put this, like, directly on top of it? I haven't done the dig up strategy in a while. Nope. You can. Uh, they don't come back until spring, though, I think is when they get regrowthed. So if you do that, they're gone forever. For a while. Wake Fred. <laughs> She's trying to dig up that grass as hard as she could. She's got some plan. It's not the same as me. Don't want the rabbit that bad. Here we go, last one. There we go, let's go home. Got him. My name is Inigo, the Carp King Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You only need four? No, I disagree. Politefully, respectfully agree to disagree. I need Barry. I need Barry. Barry is is like a son to me. Uh, and I know we already have the Magi, so I don't actually need Barry. But... I need Barry for like... It's my emotional support bunny. Also, it's my friend who's gonna eat all of our veggies. A warrior don't need berries. I do. I need my Barry. This one. This is my Barry. Barry's gonna live over here now, and we're best friends. And if anything happens to Barry, I will kill everyone involved. I will destroy Barry. No! Don't destroy my Barry. I very much love him. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright, so we're gonna make our little, um magic thing which took me way longer than it should have that was like two day journey to make just a presta hatitator that really should not have taken this long da, 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 there we go okay oh, where's our cave entrance wasn't there a reason i was here was there was a good cave entrance that one that's the one that we need to go to I will avenge my father by causing immense trauma to your mind by taking the life of your dear Barry. Oh no! Every single time I watch you, I feel like I play a completely different game. I'm still a complete noob. Is it Barry or Barry? Yes. Yes. It depends on Barry's mood that day. Barry, uh, Barry changes the spelling all the time. You know. As you do. <laughs> I guess technically it's A. I don't know if anyone has the name Barry with an E. It's B. It's it's actually that E and A that's merged together, you know that that cool looking thing from Encyclopedia. That one. I'm gonna go to the cave. I don't want to deal with all you. 
All you bats. I know we have a bunch of stuff inside Chester. I gotta figure out what we need. Is this where I left Hutch, or is this the wrong one? It's a Biari. Oh, it is where we left Hutch. Perfect. Nailed it. Uh, okay, well, those are dead. Oh, let's go grab this. Put that inside of you. It's getting out of hand. Now there's three of them. All right, we're going to go up at daytime. Uh, what do I need to do now? We're going to run through here and maybe get a couple more living logs. No, I don't need any more. We're fine. Nine is plenty. Nine is divine. Nine is just... Wait, where are our nine? Oh, they're in Chester. We got to get those. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, can't wait to make a backpack. That's going to be fun. Get some Sulacite from the archives. Is that worth it as Wigfred? I'm on the fence about that. Okay, I don't need... I do need Silk where I'm going because I'm going to make my piggyback. How many do I need? Six? Oh god, what is a piggyback? Oh, I forgot. Saltrek's going to be mad at me. I think it's six of those. It's four of these. And then it's it's grass. We have grass. Grass for days. Uh, we're going to take this. You can stay. Take our gold for sure. Take these five, sure. Uh, I don't need the shovel where I'm going. Da, 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 da. Ice staff? Nah, we'll do the torch method while we're there. It is nice to go there with like 80. You're right. Um, I have this prefabbed. Yeah, we're fine. We have that prefabbed. We don't need any for this. We have nightmare fuel. We're going to get an orange gem. I think we're fine. Let's take the logs for now. Okay, let's go. You made a mistake. It might take you hours to recover from it. Yeah. If you're talking about your, your beefalo experience, yeah. As soon as your beefalo dies, you're talking hours to fix that mistake. And it is not fun hours. Oh, no. Right, here, you take the hammer. Um, all right, let's go. I can go ahead and get all that in while it's still fresh. We got our fires. Good to go. Okay, let's go. Let's get back to these ruins. Uh, is this a new looped world? This is a new world with uh, default settings, except we still turned off wildfires because I just don't like them. I just don't like them, Waver. But how you doing? How's life treating you? <laughs> I'm mostly going there to get dark swords and... Um, God, I was going to make a ghetto cane, but now I see we don't need it. Uh, dark swords and a, and a star caller staff is what we need. So let's see how much we can do with no healing. Crown would help a ton. But we got to get in there. We got to get a purple gem. That's uh, mission one. Once we have that, we can start making dark swords. Me either. I always turn off wildfires. Yeah. I used to play with them on. I mean, I've played this game almost 10,000 hours. I've played it every which way there is. Oh, let's grab these while we're here. Yeah. Berries for berry. All right. Literally don't need it right now. Don't have a backpack yet. But still, one day we might need this. It might come in handy. I know there's a bishop up here. So that's where we're going to go first. While we still have max HP. So we can heal it off on, on knights and stuff later. Man, if I was going this slow, we could have taken the time to try to make moguls. Could have brought the moles down here. We have plenty of materials now. Whew! I'm not used to taking it easy like this. Played them for a long time, but once I got hooked on Mega Base, it was getting on my nerves. Yeah. Got a abandon base every time summer starts, or base only inside the oasis, or only base inside the caves. It's like, nah. Alright. Woo! Oh, that speed, though! I should have left Hutch outside. This is a terrible room for Hutch.
Yeah, just die. Just die and don't move. No, don't mess me up. There's another bishop. Alright, I'm gonna bail. Let's go, Hutch. We gotta go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, beware of Hutch. That was a terrible room to bring Hutch in. But I got my purple gem. That's what matters. Alright. Uh, don't need this right now. Go ahead, put this down. Go ahead and make this. Put down our reclaimed relic. Right. No. Nope. Alright, not there apparently. Right there. There we go. That's where that's going to be. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, go ahead and get our nice dark sword. Let's go with a twisted dagger. Uh, rest in peace battle spear. Don't need you anymore. Get out of here, nerd. Put that in our hand. There we go. Okay, wonderful. Uh, while we're here, I guess we could tech up. No, we don't need to tech up yet. Let's, uh, let's go explore and fight. I need to get nightmare fuel, so we gotta wait for the cycle. Alright, you, you all stay here. I'll be back for you, I promise. Don't break my stuff. I need that still. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I could leave the pigskin inside him, because that's for when I make the backpack later. Jeez, where are you running? Dude! I hate when they run crazy like that. That's right. I don't need the pigskin yet. I don't need the silk yet either. That's when I come back and make something. I need the cycle to start. We need to kill nightmares to get uh, health and nightmare fuel. There's our nightmare cycle. Ha! Found it! Alright, let's go, buddies. Sixty-three percent on the amulet. No, oh, no, that was the wrong target. Did not make a backup helmet. What is that is not like Misto. Oh. And that dude is back, being a jerk. Toffee free, welcome back. How's life treating you? Woo! Alright, well we're not healing from these right now, jeez. Yeah, starting a new run for fun. Probably only gonna keep this on as long as we can kill a uh, Fuel Weaver at the end as our final goal. So we're gonna kill Celestial Champion, then use the crown to kill Fuel Weaver. That's that's the ultimate plan here. Come back here and fight me! Jeez, that should not have been that stressful. We should have been gaining HP off these nightmares. No, this is going terribly. Like you should be healing off of um. A Celestial Champion can definitely get wet. Yeah, that was the easy fight when I got a when I waited for that. You should be healing off of those. Um, I am not, which is a problem. There's a bishop over there. Here's a knight. Alright, just rush it. We're gonna take two hits off of this. It's another orange gem that we don't necessarily need. A knight over here too? No. I gave into those. Yeah, I've been talking about this for a while. I don't get to play Wig for that often. Oh, really? You start with the attack? That's rude, dude. Oh, there's our yellow gem. That's what we need. No, that was the whole cycle. I need more nightmares. Fight me. No, come back. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on Sachuk because he's not our mod today. I 
need more nightmares to fight. What is that? Oh, Bishop. Hey, buddy. 64%, 10%. Crypt him. Whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Such a nice life, fighting nightmares. I mean, we're supposed to be healing off of them. We're doing pretty terribly, honestly. Oh, that's right. I might need a weapon. Uh, dodge. Oh. The mole was free food. I probably should have grabbed it if I were smart. I did not, though. All for the sake of a joke, and then I'm gonna have to undo that later. Uh, well, is that it? That's kind of disappointing. Ugh, we needed more nightmares. I need to be able to get to these nightmare lights during the cycle to, to heal up. If that's gonna be our plan down here. Do you really, uh, did you really, un I didn't unmod him, he unmodded himself. You can do that as a mod. I heard a clockwork here. Where is he? Wish I had a vision. And they're closed. Quick post illegal Lego building techniques. Oh no! Ooh, yellow gym. Freebie. Ah, oh, this is bright. No, there's still only one. Man, there's not a good cluster of nightmare lights for Wigfred to heal off of. Ooh. Oh, there might be. Ah, dead end. Whoop. And dodged here. Oh, oh, anything cool this way? No, also a dead end. Whoop. Pardon me, squeeze me, coming on through. Just slipping into these DMs here, don't worry. Loading curve on Necrodancer is surprisingly high, or I'm just bad. Um, I mean, it is like a rhythm-based game, right? I would I would not expect that to be an easy pickup. One or the other. It could be both. Could be both. Why not both? Blame the game. Uh, okay, well that's everything. Did I bring my hammer? I did. So I can ha- Do I need any more science- magic while I'm here? Could make an LGA if we go grab one of those red gems that I saw on the ground and didn't pick up. Let's go do that. Because I can hammer this down and get back two of the living logs, which gives us even more uh, dark swords to finish the ruins with. Also, could have done that there. Let's go with this ugly one. Fantastic. You have this hutch. That way, when I die, I don't have it, and I can blame you. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't need anything else. Not going to do belts of hunger in this world. Okay. Hammer down. There we go. Alright, you take this. Let's pop down a little campfire before we move on. Cook up some of this monster meat. Game only having four buttons is odd. Oh! Wait, do you just have movement buttons? Is that it? And then you attack based on the, the beat, right? Alright, so I need you to come with me. What can I give you? You can take the logs, I guess. You can take logs, you can take that. I don't need this. All that loot behind. You do directional type. Oh, so it's kind of like a crown trick, but actually good. 
Contract was not terrible, but I didn't enjoy that game much. There we go. Barry's not himself anymore. You're right, he's hungry. We fed Barry. Now we don't even need this. Except I still want the speed, so I'm gonna wear it. Ooh, nightmare fuel. Ooh, nightmare fuel. Down left at the same time by accident, and that drops a bomb. Oof. Ooh, free food. What happened here? I see. No way this could be weird. There we go. Now we got our sanity down. We can actually start fighting stuff. Oh, that's right. I could have given the spear to Barry. Darn, that's right. Oh, not Barry. I could have given the spear to um to Hutch because Wigfred's spear actually counts. I guess we could just make another, but I'm going to go this way. I think that's our best bet to find the rest of the ruins. We did see a yellow gem. I didn't pick it up, though. I like kind of clearing the ruins and then coming back and picking up everything. Give Barry a spear. You're right. Barry should have a spear. What are you getting from the ruins? Uh, I need to get a Starcaller staff is the most important thing because we have to get the Iridescent Gem to be able to do the Celestial Champion eventually. And just kind of, you know, stalling on doing all the ocean stuff that we have to do. Is that a green gem? That might be a green gem. Oh no, Barry's gone into crazy Barry mode. Do we have two military biomes? What is going on? Dude, Hutch, I don't want you to die. Come over here. Yeah, <laughs> he's Blackberry. Oh no, but that company went out of business. No! Oh, it's 11! It's 11! It's not 10! I forgot. It's 11. It is 11 hits. I was actually counting hits and I, I undercounted there. So there should be a um, a knight over here too because this is a set piece. Yeah, there he is. Could be a yellow or an orange, I don't know. Ooh, Ancient Guardian? Hey, we can do Guardian. That's always fun as Wigfred. Uh, Blackberry didn't go... Wait, is Blackberry still out there doing stuff? Really? I thought they lost, like, iPhone. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, they rebranded. Ah. They didn't just make phones? What else did they do? I'd only ever heard of their phones. Blackberry OS is DE dead. Oh, that's definitely a yellow gem. Oh, there's a bishop somewhere. Blackberry is the reband. They were originally Research in Motion. What? All right, we're gonna take like two hits here that we don't need to take. Best weapon in the game. Gotta love a walking cane. Um, there is no part of me that wants to walk up to Ancient Guardian with Dark Swords and try to beat it down. It takes an entire two. It's got 10,000 HP, right? Black or no, we do slightly more than 5,000. It will take nearly two Dark Swords. I guess we make a spear. We could do. We do. We have the stuff for a spear. I do. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, 
Uh, we could also stay here and try to heal up off of nightmares. I only see one, two nightmare lights though, jeez. It'll take one and a, th that's it? Wow. Oh yeah, Wigfrid does 85 damage a dark sword, a swing, right? So 85 would be eight, uh, 800 or 8,500 for a single dark sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's affordable. Give me nightmares. Yes. God, I love when you're new to the game and you're like, oh no, no nightmares. When you're later in the game, you're like, ah, oh, yes, nightmares, heal me. Is it 75? It might be 75. Dark Sword is 68 times 1.25. Is that, it might be 75. It is 85, okay. I miss Arcturus. Well, there's always Arcturus too, Electric Boogaloo. Woo, that's a lot of crawl- ow. This is where we should use the mouse. Uh-oh. We got our health back though. Okay, we got a few uh, Terra Beaks now. Uh oh. Okay. Are you kidding me? Oh, don't walk into a dead end. Not now. Eighteen percent on this helmet. Not liking that. Gonna have to make a backup. Really pleasing uh, to change into Wormwood in spring and have the some farming watching him in bloom. Aww. Wormwood is a very satisfying character. We had our health back and then I lost it. This was my chance to heal and I beefed it. Oof. I gotta get good, guys. I must be rusty. Or maybe I was never good. One or the other. Alright, Barry, give me a little bit more light. Let's go into this. That's why we come and make new worlds every now and again. We gotta remember how to play the game. Oh no, did I gain enough sanity? Come come here, I'm by this. I'm insane again. Come here. Don't walk away. Come back to me. Don't you leave me! Oh, that's right. I have life-giving amulet. Is that... Does this not work anymore? Wait. How long do you have to wear LGA to get any life out of it? Are you kidding me? Wait, how long until it heals you? That's weird. I thought I gave you 5 HP and took like 5 hunger. It's, it's very slow, apparently, yeah. Let's go do, uh, let's go do Guardian. Cycle's done. We got plenty of HP. I got food in the belly. <laughs> Very slow. Ooh, let's go check for some bat bats or something. Uh, eh, free weapon. Once every 20 seconds, jeez, how long would you have to wait to heal?
What's the over under on on us uh, breaking this magi while fighting uh, ancient guardian over here? Once every twenty seconds. I don't want to fight any spiders. I have plenty of food. We got a backup plan? Nope. I got nothing. I don't even have grass. Can't make a torch. I got nothing. Oh, well, this was a dead end. Okay. That way. Oh, hey, buddy. What up? Puts that pressure on us. We can't afford to mess up. So we got to do it perfect. He says every 30 seconds, jeez. That is insanely slow. I thought it was somewhat usable. That's a pretty good chest. Oh, let's just wake up all the spiders. That's gonna be fun. This is also a dead end. We're gonna have to run back through this gauntlet of spiders. Uh, let's make matters worse by opening this chest and summoning more. Nope, don't need those. Okay. These spiders are very annoying because they are in my way. Oh, they're sleep. I thought they went home. Oh, no, those must be the trap ones. The trap ones can't go home because they have no home. They're homeless. Oh, wait, was that it? Maybe. I thought I saw mud over there, but I guess not. Sometimes you can see more if you change the camera. Even on the map, it's weird. How long for a feast? Well, if you kill Ancient Guardian, you'll be eating some delicious meat. Is this another dead end? What? Is it like right here in the center? And we did all this extra exploration for nothing? Soon it will be winter with no prep. Fantastic. The possible Weber refresh. Dun dun dun. I did run into a walking cane set piece. Oh, come on. Ow! Ninety-four percent on this hat, so we're good enough. Let's go. Woo! Hey, what up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, this looks like a clean place. Just right here. Yeah, that's clean. Now you're going to get them lazy explorers for the memes! Wait, what's wrong with the lazy explorer? We could have two. We could we could put one in each hand. That's going to be the Weber refresh, right? He has two hands. Two hand slots. Confirm sanity station. Aw, yeah. Alright, we're going to make a normal spear after this. Or a battle spear, sorry. I'm pretty sure she'll die before the Magi dies at 80%, even if I was not paying acute attention to it. Could he have four hand slots or six? No, spiders only have six uh, legs in this game. So Weber should only have, you know, two legs and four hands. But it takes two hands to use a weapon, even though it doesn't look like it. That's why we only have one hand slot on Wigfrid, who has two hands. So that's why Weber gets two hand slots for his four hands. Makes sense. Makes sense. Especially if you have to explain it to people, then you know it's really making sense. Ugh. 
Oh, this takes forever. Nailed it. It's over here. Nothing? All right. Oh, I thought we lost the horn. Hey, star callers! We didn't even have to clear the ruins. We could have just come over here, killed the boss, and been done with our run. Also, 34 Thulus site. That's pretty sick. Uh, I guess you can have this now. I don't need that anymore. Well, let's uh, let's just leave. That's all I really wanted, anyways. Let's go. Let's go grab Hutch. Oh, there's a much shorter way out of here. 34 fragments isn't bad. That's like what? Uh, 6, 12, 24, 30. That's almost 6 Thulacite. That's okay. As far as the boss drops go. Good to know we wasted all our time. Running around killing stuff for fun. But it was fun. You know, that's that's the fun part of playing Wigfrid is murder and stuff. So no shame in our game. As long as we're having fun. That's what matters, right? That is so... God, if I would have just gone right instead of left, we would have been right there. Ugh. Yeah, let's go upstairs and just get ready for winter, I guess. Boring. Just, we kill everything and just... Ah, I don't want any of this loot. Let's just bail. <laughs> I feel like that's how Ruins Rushes go for me, honestly. I just go in there for the fun. We could swing by, uh... Could swing by and get some more Dark Swords. That would be nice. We only have five left. Five is a lot, though. Maybe we should go do our winter prep first, so I don't get caught with my pants down, or skirts down in this case. Actually, does that expression come from the British version of pants, which is like underwear? I've never thought about it like that, but is that is that actually what it means with your undies down? That's probably what it means. That would be an even more inopportune time to get caught with said pants down. Crazy actor storms the ruins of an ancient civilization to ruin it even more. <laughs> yep. That's pretty much what just happened. We're just in it for the fun. We're just in it for the murder. But look at that. Wigfred left with basically no healing. 189. I mean, we were eating cooked monster meat as our main food, and we left with pretty much full HP with no healing items. Granted, Ancient Guardian is a good place to heal, uh, because you take no damage since we glitched it. But even before that, like, Wigfred is just solid in the ruins. Like, just, she's fine. She's fine. Especially if you do the berry strategy. Barry being fantastic. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna bail. Dark sword strategy also fantastic to do that rush now. Uh, are you guys gonna leave me alone? It's daytime. Yes, you will. Thank you. I'm gonna need this because we're gonna be making a lantern soon. Let's get a craft to crock pots. It probably would be a good idea, yeah. I mean, I had everything I needed. No, I didn't have a uh, charcoal. Here, you take these. I'll take this. I would like this also. I need a lot of this stuff, actually. Wow, I don't have any space. Here, you have this. I'll take this. Um, You can have those so you can transform. I'll take this again. Ugh. Oh, put the hutch bowl on the ground too. Duh, there we go. Good, good catch. I have to go having an intern uh, in interview in five minutes. Thanks for the great time. All right, Kiri, take care. Hopefully we see you again soon. And Kasuya, if I didn't greet you earlier, welcome back. How you doing? The hardest part of the Ruins Rush, choosing what to leave behind. If we had a backpack, we wouldn't have to leave anything behind. 
Hey, Chester, I missed you. Here, take this stuff. Uh, there, that. I don't need that right now. Let's go. And also, I'll take this too. And warm chillin', welcome back. How you doing? I am doing fantastic today. Choosing to do fantastic. Positive mental attitude. Played a weird game earlier. Feel free to check out the VOD if you want. But it was weird. Way too much fan service for my taste. I'm sure some people quite enjoy that type of game. Nah, not for me. Not for me. What was the name? The uh, the name was uh, Lost Ruins. And then we came into this game to do Ruins Rush. I just got Ruins on the brain today, guys. Came up with nothing, too. Left the Ruins with absolute nothing. Fantastic. Where are we? We're near Pig King. We're near Triple Mac. You know what? I'm just popping down a sign. Let's go here. I need backpack. Oh, I need rope. There we go. Don't put your life giving amulet in your backpack. Never do that. Never make that mistake. Always keep it in your inventory. Every time. Um, Alright, we need to kill some of these guys. I can leave this here for now, though. Put your life-giving amulet in your backpack. No. Never. Don't do that. God, I feel bad using a dark sword on these guys, but we're kind of low on gold, so I guess I will. Put it in Chester. Oh god, that's just as bad. No, you're gonna confuse people. Oh no, is it not everything you were hoping for, Sawchuck? I need space. Chester, why can't you carry stuff for me? You never help me. Oh no. Uh, I don't know. Take this? Yeah, sure. How about a fortune cookie DST edition? Don't put your LGA in your backpack. That's very important. If I ever made like short videos with like tips and stuff, that would be one of the first videos. Would be like five important tips and one of them would be don't put your LGA in your backpack. Also carry an LGA with you. Why is the boss allowed to just break through the shop wall while I'm making this? Wait, what? They can attack you in the shop? Oh, yeah, that's pretty cheap. I'm with you on that. That's weird. Shop is supposed to be a nice, safe place. Hey, Horn and Two, baby! G -g -g got him! I need space, though. I don't have space. That's the problem. Wait, yes, I do. There we go. Good to go. Nailed it. I always thought the LGA was a waste of a slot, but now it never leaves my inventory. Uh, I mean, I have it because I'm going to turn this into a song. It depends on your comfort level with not dying or your ability to revive from a place where you're dying. Because you technically don't need to carry it. You could leave it somewhere that you can ghost back to. Um, there's many strategies, but for a new player, LGA is, is cheap enough. I would tell them to carry it always. Be able to revive fast if they die. For a veteran player, it's it's they're not looking for tip videos anyways. <laughs> I'd much rather use meat effigies. Meat effigies are fine, but I mean, this lets you revive on the spot and pick up your stuff. A new player reviving back at their base, it depends on how nice their base is, but... Um, yeah, like you're saying, multiplayer strategy, someone could steal your meat effigy when you're relying on it, or someone could pick up your stuff when you die. I wasn't considering those, but that is also something to keep in mind. Or revive your friends when they die, that's good too. Meat Effigy only helps you. Not quite four minutes, but I see in your inventory the deed. I gotta get one more. I only have six beefalo wool. I need eight. 
Um, because it's, is it six for the hat? How much is the hat? But I need two for the shirt. It's eight for the hat. I need a, I need 10. I'm not done yet. Oh, hey, there you are. You can shave! I mean, I might be able to shave, but shaving doesn't give me meat. Don't you kill me, loading lag! Ooh. Yeah, where, where is Wigger gonna learn how to shave? Press to Hat Tater is for LGA. Um, you monster. I'm not a monster, I'm a survivor. And I'm never gonna give up. I'm gonna grow stronger. I'm gonna move faster. I did also just straight up rush, um, Shadow Manipulator in this world. That's why we're using Dark Swords. I need one more beefalo. How about you come with me? Huh? I wonder if it'd be worth making a bell to move them faster. Because if you have a bell, they'll always run to follow you, right? Personally value the inventory slot more, but it's player dependent. I mean, for a new player, especially a new player doing multiplayer, it has way too many upsides to leave behind. Again, we're not talking about like a veteran who's not gonna die anyways. Like, I'm not gonna carry it. I have it because I'm making the song and that's it. Attack at me, there we go, we got the second attack. Stop fu- God, they're gonna live in this place now. No, you don't, no, I will eat you too. Ooh, I actually will, you know what, hey. Let's go. I don't need to eat monster meat anymore. I got pigs. The herd won't update. They're too far. Ah, okay. How did I get a refund on a monster meat? What is going on here? God, I have too much crap. Man, it's like I should have a backpack or some device to carry stuff on my back. Do you have something I'm already carrying? I don't need a blue gem. Get that out of here. Oh, I, I fed too many. That's why. The two spider glands. Oh, yeah, that's good. Get those out of here. He didn't eat the last one. We overfed. That's right. Stack the pigskins in Chester. Oh, we could just straight up kill. There you go, Barry. That's your share. Okay. Let's uh let's tech up for winter. Fight me. Why are you running? How low does Wigford's sanity have to be? I'm getting no respect from these monsters. It's a loot world? I don't do loot worlds, no. Uh, we're just playing a new game on Wigfred for funsies. If it were a loot world, I'd probably have a backpack and a, I'd have a Krampus sack and a bunch of berry bushes on me. Alright, let's do this. Let's not break the Magi. Go ahead and uh, fill that up. Berry can come down here. Uh, chesty boy, give me these. Go ahead and make two of these. Loot world doesn't res- ah, okay. Let's go with, uh, let's try the paper lantern. That's new. It's exciting. I'm a fan of that. Let's see. Food in the backpack. This here next to Barry. I'll keep this in the backpack, too. That's fine. Uh, go ahead and make our hat for the winter. Have that one now. Yeah, we'll go classic. Always classic. Uh, this can just stay here, I guess. 
Had a cane and magi on day eight. Yeah. I had the I had the magi on day three. We actually had a really I don't God, it wasn't even successful. We got nothing done, but I actually had the magi on day three, which was pretty awesome. The walking cane is fantastic, but I mean we also had triple Mac, so there's no delusion we wouldn't have had that already. Um and Starcaller staff is nice. Oh, yeah, I can take that in the inventory. All right, what are we doing? Is it possible to get Poof, Magi, and Yellow Staff from Guardian? Uh, no. I, I know for certain you cannot get uh, the Lazy Explorer and the Yellow Staff because those share the same um, drop on the on the Guardian. Like, the, the, the way Guardian rolls loot is like, those are in the same slot, basically. So you can only get that. It's like... Isn't it guaranteed? You get one... You can either get a... God, Dulacite Club, a Yellow Staff, or... Um, orange Staff, right? Aren't those three on the same thing and you always get one of them? Or maybe you don't always get one. Yeah, You can get one, but I think those three share the same slot. Although Satuk's saying Staff, so maybe no. Maybe it's the other staffs also occupy that slot instead of the Dulacite Club. I've never gotten a Dulacite Club in a Lazy Explorer, though. I don't know if it's possible. It might be. Let's take this with us, too. Uh, what does it take to make a Morning Star? Ah, Niter. Let's go get some Niter before winter. And now we have slowed down. It's either club or orange stuff. Okay, whew. I was hoping I wasn't crazy, because that was really important when we were speedrunning before, when we were doing all boss. That wasn't that important, but it definitely really helped. I'll get these two while I'm here. I need the Niter more than anything. Uh, is there any source for the loot table besides code diving? Is it clear in the code? It used to be pretty clear on the wiki. I don't know if it's changed. It's been a while since I checked there. Seemed accurate as far as my experience. There are some people who hate the invisible items. I think Rovius is among them. He came and gave me, uh, gave me a little bit of crap about it the other day. Like, oh man, I would lose those in a heartbeat. Uh, but no, I like them. I think they look pretty. And if I'm dropping them on the ground, I probably don't want to find them again anyways. <laughs> Stopped going to the wiki except when I can't guess pre -fab. The The wiki's not bad. I know we talk, on, we talk down on the wiki a little bit, but that's because people overly rely on the wiki, and it ends up betraying them a lot of the times. Um... Ah. It's gonna take a lot of our gold, but I think this is nice to have. And it's it's saving us an inventory slot. So let's get this done. I actually have a morning star before winter. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're gonna find out. I don't have the mod on to change uh um snow on the ground. So if you guys normally watch me because of that, we don't have it this time, sadly. I, I'm doing a pure unmodded run. It's kinda like a Westworld, but we're Wigfred. Problem with the wiki are more commonly misinterpretations and that's fair there have been some straight up wrong things but yeah the wiki can do stuff and word it in a weird way um god what are we doing i almost feel like just making drying racks or something that can't be bad as wigford right snow on the ground just makes it hard to see oh that's uh idea testing idea testing gets rid of that no you don't Well, now I'm going to have to eat your whole family. Oh no, Wigfred, what have we done? Oh, we've desynced him. Oh no. Woo! Feeling good, feeling good. God, what are we doing? 
I've lost my direction. I know we need to start sailing, so I guess I should work towards making my sea fishing rod. I think that takes a... Oh, where did I put my logs? Was that inside Hutch? Now oh, we'll get some more. Here, let's throw this down here. Uh, sea fishing rod. One board and six silk. That is pricey. So, do beefalo that are belled still go into a heat cycle? Because I'm thinking about starting a beefalo tame for winter. Like, maybe after the heat cycle, but that won't be until day 24. Winter ends on 35. That's only 11 days, which means we'd have to do half of our taming during spring, which would just be painful. <laughs> no, doesn't stop it. Ugh. Did it ever stop it, or was that just like a rumor when the bell came out? I think you're going to be our beefalo, dude. Oh, I need more wool for the saddle, too. I got to go murder more beefalo. And waste all this food. Now, let's go ahead and pop that in there. Now, we'll make a, a razor for the next one. Uh, you can do the umbrella lantern piggyback combo. Oh, no, I'm talking about taming, taming a um, a beefalo. No, that's gonna be Jeff. Jeff has chosen me. He like Jeff's moved in and is like, hey, sup? I'm gonna be your beefalo. Oh, here's some more. That's what I mean. Umbrella lantern piggyback. But, I mean, if your beefalo's in heat, you have to have the uh, beefalo hat, don't you? You can't wear the eyebrella. Because the beefalo's going to be heat in heat the entire season. Every time you get bucked off, it tries to hit you. But he said after the... Oh, I'm talking about in winter, I want to start after the heat cycle. But, I'm pretty sure it'll go into the heat as soon as spring starts. I don't think we'll be tamed enough to... See? Jeff already loves me. The only way to avoid the heat cycle is to start during summer, basically. They have a short heat in winter, like two or three days, and then they're in heat for the entire spring, basically. At least the entire first spring. So yeah, for the first year, it's actually really annoying to tame a beefalo in your first year. Periodically is day 21, yeah, 21 to 24 they're in heat, and then uh, they're in heat for the entire spring. So you either start taming a beefalo like immediately in autumn, or you're going to have to deal with the heat cycle later on, and that's just going to be annoying. It might be worth it though. I'm just going to get more rocks. That seems like a fine thing to do. Oh, it's almost winter. We might have to chill here until uh, winter comes proper and stops the rain. Or just, you know, pop down a star and not be lazy. This fire is not going to last me two seconds. Uh, let's go ahead and cook. Uh... Meat lasts longer cooked, right? We're going to make a 20 meat. I'll keep two in case I want to do a ham bat soon, but I think we're going to live off of the the dark sword. I need to get reeds for my song. I also have no idea where my lunar island is, so I do need to just like pause and look at the map. Not really pause, but just stop moving for a second. Stop trying to keep mo rushing around. Look at all that free food if I had a sea fishing rod. Screw it. I'm doing it. Let's go. All right, we're gonna have to wait till our sanity is up or until we kill a uh, nightmare. It could be there. That's a decent cut. That's a really decent cut, actually. It depends on what this side of the earth looks like. We're gonna have to explore more. I think that's the secret. 
You know what's good at exploring? A beefalo. Meat does last longer cooked, uh, not more than twice as long though, so if you are trying to keep it as long as possible, you should cook it late. Ah, darn. Well, I mean, I guess I'll keep my sanity up for winter. We'll just eat it now. So I shouldn't have cooked that many, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this while we're here. Did I make one? Here, Chester, take my axe. Oh, I forgot about shaving the beefalo. Whoopsies. Ah, uh, we can do that any night. I need to get that sea fishing rod. I think that will actually be a good strategy. Monster meat lasts uh, 2.5 times as long cooked, so early cooking lasts longer. Ah, okay. Okay, so that's that's what we need to do. It's based on the twice as long thing. Clever. Uh, you're just gonna have to hold this too, Hutch. And these, I guess. I should take that for extra weapons. We're on a 20% anyways. Alright, as soon as winter starts, the rain should stop and we should have uh, snow. And we should probably take a break. We've been here three hours. 